Hello, everybody. Let's turn my volume down here. Let's see. Come on. I'm a minute or two early. There we go. Hello, Kateri. Anybody new? I'm Lisa Jamison, and we are going to try out metal in this mini pancake maker today. And because I didn't try it out last time, and then I'm going to try a couple other things while I have it out. So we're just going to mess around with this. I did uh cut out a bunch of stamped and cut out a bunch of shrinky beans so and then i did i sprayed a bunch of the wooden pieces with different colored sprays oh um Why, what's the matter, Terry? Are we going to get some storms or something? Anyway, once I did those, then I put clear over the top of them. Are they not beautiful? I love it. So pretty. Yeah, I was spraying these with sprays when I got the idea for the paper towel things um, it's on my other video and I was on live with Maddie last night so yeah those are those are fun to do hi Belinda how are you oh thanks Terry I will watch Ryan later when I get off here Oh, thanks, Belinda. You watched it? Yeah, you were there last night. Yeah, they are fun. They're addictive. It is addictive. Once you start playing around, you get, I think I got 50 pages, papers now, or more. Oh, thanks, Belinda. Appreciate it. Yeah, I thought we'd try some uh, Scrabble tiles, see what they look like. But these are, like, really slick. I wonder if that stuff would stick to it and stay on there. Anyway, I was playing around. I did try the metal. And this was the first thing I did. This is a brass butterfly. And I just sprinkled different colors on it and melted it. So that was that one. This one is so pretty. I just sprinkled little bits of different colors of dim molds on there. Then you can stick a brat in there. This could be a closure on something. Let's see. Let's say you had an envelope. Come on, Lisa. See my mess. You had an envelope, a bigger piece, or something. It could put your uh, uh, bride in there, and then your flap would come down and flip underneath it, or you could string a, something around it. It'd be so pretty. You could do it in solid colors. Yeah, this is metal. Same way with this one. Yeah, you could use these in your journal. These especially because they're flat. Did this one. So pretty. Thanks, Kateri. 
And then I did a couple of Tim Holtz little metal pieces. Look at those. Look at that. You even got some on the back. I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then I did the, this is heavy. This was all this color, silver. And I put rust, Zeth after rust. And then I put a little bit of the baked, uh, sprinkled some bronze, baked bronze in it or something like that on there. Is that not cool? Yeah. So I thought we'd try this crown today. It's heavy. These two are heavy. Heavy metal pieces. Um, and then I got this phone out. It's heavy too. Um... Got some other stuff. I got these out, I thought, because I don't like the color of them. When I do, I'm going to have to take the string off. Yeah, I just got other stuff out. And then I wanted to try uh, some keys. Got some keys out. What else? Um, let's get a little here, tub here, put the finished ones in. And then I thought, then I got out this whole thing of Tim Holtz metal pieces. I wanted to try those. So I just got a few things out to do with metal. Uh, scrawls, crow, crow. Hey Lisa, what a great idea with the pancake maker. Hey, turns out so cool. I am watching from Norway. Well, hello and welcome. We're glad to have you. Ooh, green or blue watering cans, yes. All the way from Norway, guys. Thank you. This wasn't my idea. This was, uh, uh, Marion Emberson, and I will put her link in the description when I'm done here. So go give her some love. Marion, let me write her name down and I'll hold it up. Uh, pencil. So you guys could go look her up. I'll put her link in the description. This was her idea. She's the one that Came up with it. That's her name. Yeah. She's really sweet too. Um, but let's get. Works or represents. I know. Wow. The wow embossing stuff. I think she does. Oh, you did watch her. Cool. Jerry says hello to the to I'll never remember her name. Scrowl. What do you want us to call you? Scrowl. Scrowl. I can't. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to leave your thumbs up before you leave today. And oh, cool, Belinda. Some of the wild powders have her name on them. That's awesome. I don't haven't bought any new besides the glazes. I haven't bought any new embossing powder because that stuff lasts forever. And I have tons of it. Thanks, Blenda. So, Kim might make it here before the live is over with. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but we'll just keep our fingers crossed. Me and Kim usually go on together. She, uh, I 
Oh, die cuts are fun too. Scrowl's cow. Crow. Scowl's growl. Well, if you take your white or your clear, you can tint it with alcohol inks. Hi, cat. Just pour you some out and put a drop in your and mix it up. You can tint the with your alcohol inks. And then I had a bunch of questions. I had a lot of comments on my on my last one. So the when I was talking about the leaf one we did last time, and I said it soaked in. I don't remember. Where did I put all them? Anyway. Oh, I think I know where I put them. And I said it soaked in. Well, one lady on there, I can't remember her name, because I have a terrible memory. But the one leaf I said uh, it, that it soaked into, and it didn't, I think it was this one, and we already put glaze over it. Yeah, I put glaze over it. This was the one I said that the glaze is soaked in, and it wasn't shiny. She said that it gets, that the wood... That I probably left it in too long. It got too hot, so the wood soaked, just soaked it up. So then I went back over the top of it with just clear. And then what else was it on the last one? Um, oh, your shrinky dinks. They one lady gave me the suggestion that when you do your shrinky dinks. And you bring them out just to take another, another piece of, because they're kind of like, they don't lay exactly flat sometimes by taking them out because they're still warm. You end up, you know, they bend a little. Just take your parchment paper while it's still warm and rub over the top of it. That was a good idea to flatten it. Hi, Nadine. Um, alcohol markers on shrinky dinks. I haven't tried that because I, I don't think I have any alcohol markers. I got markers, but I don't think they're alcohol. Um, and instead, if you can't find this heat melt, this melt stuff, where's the black? I don't think they sell it anymore. The art melt, roll to trick that we did the weather vein in the other lady said just do several coatings of the of black you know or whatever color you wanted and makes it ultra thick yeah so and if the girls on here that i that asked me about this stuff it's on its way and as soon as i get it i will email you i found one on ebay as soon as I get it, I will email you. But the ultra thick is, that's just one coat. Of the ultra thick. Yeah, it's on its way. Yes. Yeah, they're only $10. On Amazon, even at Walmart, they're ten dollars. And then the other one was uh, try heating your wood first, and then putting your embossing powder on it. It probably go, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think so. That was my hints and tips and questions from the last one. So, since we got people here, let's go ahead and do. Um, like I said, this is what I tried so far. Let me show Nadine and them. We did these. This is metal, all metal pieces. So, 
So, yeah. I don't know, Blended. Was it you? Or was it somebody else? Yeah. No. Let me check real quick. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, let's do one. Let's plug this thing in and try one. So what do you guys want to try first? Any suggestions? Um, see, we have the <laughs> we have the the flower pot or the bucket, and then the watering can. And then every other stuff that went with it was the, the little fork or the little spade and three prong, whatever this thing is. They are so cute. I just don't like the color of them. So, in order to do these, Hi, Chiquita. What are we doing? We are trying the mini pancake maker on metals today. We did wood the last time I was on here. And I have tons of this sisal rope, so I'm not worried about that. Just got to take it off. I don't want to catch it on fire. Uh, we are doing embossing. Ouch. This gets hot fast, you guys. Sorry. Oh, I put one in there. I didn't mean to. I can't believe I left that in there. That's a shrinky dink. Let's leave it in there. Let it shrink. I was checking to see how long <laughs> they were. Because <laughs> I have this really long bottle. This is longer than four inches. <laughs> so I was checking to see, and I left one in there. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Uh, I know. Hi, Rochelle. It's funny. Yeah, we're experimenting. We did all wood last week, or the last one. We did wood pieces. Um, these were sprayed. We did uh, all this stuff last week, or the last one. Um, we did all kinds of stuff. Uh, we were playing these little wood pieces. Oh, thanks, Melinda. Look how little it's gotten. It has gotten. Yeah, I'm ready to take it out. Okay, do we want to do the crown? We could do the crown, or we could do these little metal pieces. I got leaves here. I got, like I said, we could do any. We did these. Well, that was my test. Okay, I think it's done. So she said when you take it out, flatten it with another piece. Because it does kind of bubble. Oh, yeah, that works. Just take your little thing, flatten it while it's still warm. Hey, that works. And you want parchment paper in there. 
flattened it. And all we do is color it. Or we could put some, ooh, let's just do it now. Let's put some colored glaze on it. Since we were working on it, let's make a yellow bottle. And this is just for some Mark Dauber. No, it's Ranger. Ranger Embossed Dauber, which I love. Let's do a yellow bottle. So, we're going to sprinkle some of this on there. And I didn't put a hole in it because I didn't know I was... You don't want a ton of it on there because it'll get... Well, I just want to tint the bottle. Stop. Okay, there it goes. I think I'm in close enough, am I? Hold on. Yeah, I'm close. Leave it in there. Pour this back in there. This is shrinky dinks, guys. While it's melting. We just want to tint the bottle. I should be done. No, it's not. Hold on. It's still kind of. <laughs> yeah, I do. I like using inks. You could use colored pencils. You could use markers. You could use anything you want on shrinky dinks. But I like to ink because it was just easier. But if I was doing a detailed one, I'll show you a detailed one. Um, I would do, uh oh, if I was doing a detailed one, oh, it's so stinking cute. Why'd I open why'd I close it? Ouch. They are hot too. Don't touch them. Anyway, I'll bring it up and show you. Look how pretty. It looks like a glass bottle, doesn't it? That's so cool. See, you could use these in vignettes or you could uh Punch a hole in them before you shrink them. And let's let's just see. Let's say we want to shrink this one. Let's punch a hole. We're off the metal. We, look, we, we can't even stay focused. We're going to punch a hole in the neck. Right there. I think this is 3 16 I'm not sure what size it is. But if I put embossing glaze on this big, when it shrunk, when it shrinks up, you wouldn't be able to make it look like glass. Like you could see through it. All you'd be able to do is it, it would make it really dark, which we did. So you, it wouldn't look like glass to me. So you shrink it. See how big it is. It's going to go crazy. I know. Go to Sizzix. They got gold, silver, or they got tons of different colors. Hi, Becky. Welcome. Glad you're here. Don't forget to leave your eyes leave a thumbs up it helps my algorithm we get to play more it's so cool i just love it oh my goodness you guys we're gonna do the metal ones next we will do the crown what color any ideas for color for the crown 
This is metal. We're going to do metal. Oh my goodness. Get that plastic thing away from there. Just take it out like this. Flatten it out. And we do have the hole in it. Come on, get off there. So, as you could see, see the hole? So we could string it and use it as a, a dangle, but then we could take, um, make it look beautiful. This is an embossing dauber. Yeah, last time I was missing all the, didn't put any holes in anything, hardly. I don't think I did it on anything. And just sprinkle some on there. And let it spread around. And then I did it on the back. Let's see. Let's see if we could do it. Let's see if we can get some to stay on the back. So in case you want to use it as a charm, your back and your front is colored. I'm not even going to save that. Dump it in the garbage. Yeah, Marion's got a lot of cool stuff on her channel about embossing and stuff. She does some really neat stuff. Ooh. Okay, we're going to do this. Ideas for colors. Yeah, it did it. When I put embossing powder before you shrink it, it makes it too dark. You can't see through it. It doesn't look like glass. Red, a crown? Red. Well, we got all kinds of colors. Red and gold, Carol says. Hi, Carol. Let's see you come in. Look. Ooh, pretty. Now let's see if we got the back to do. Oh, it did. Oh, Lisa. See what I just did? I messed it all up. Let's put it back in there. Hold on. Messed it up. Messed it up. See, this is where you, you get your lessons. Let's just close it up and let it do its thing. Purple crown. Well, we have um, all, all the Tim Holtz embossing glazes. Ooh, look at patina oxide. Look at that. Seth Thapter. Oh, that looks cool. Let's take it out. Do not turn it over. It looks kind of cool with the different um, spots in it. It looks kind of neat. Looks like it's got bubbles in it. You know how that old glass has the bubbles in it and stuff? Yeah. So cool. We'll look at the back once it dries. And then, like I said, you just take your parchment paper and scrape this off, and you can reuse them. That way you are not don't have to cut out 9,000 little circles. But they're little 4-inch parchment paper circles. 
Okay, so there's our, and we did get some on the back. We got some of the yellow, too. That is so cool. See it? I love it. See, we got some on the back, but, eh. You could color the backs, I suppose. Okay, so we have the crown. Thanks, Blenda. Purple is royal, right? Rochelle says. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find purple. You would like purple, purple, purple. Ooh, we could try purple and gold. That's aged mahogany. Ah, there's a purple. It's wilted violet. Let's see if we got another one. Chipped sapphire. That's really dark. That's a bluish. Hold on. Villainous potion. Do we want the light or the dark purple? Let's see, we got two different colors. Dark. Okay, let me see if I can find my gold over here. Um, I don't think I have any in here. What's this? This is platinum. Let's do. I got some gold in here. Old, super fine detail. Okay, so what I did with this one, the flirted lease, is see, you still see the metal around the sides. Is so I just took my dauber and went like this on it, pushed down on it as I was doing it. I don't think I can get any closer. Yeah. As close as I'm going to get. I uh, just push down on the dauber. Make sure I got some on there. And then let's do the do we want to do purple first and then gold? Oh, hi, Sateria. Thank you. Let's do the purple. And then we'll do the gold. So this is how I did. And then we'll put some gold over. I think this is going to be really dark. I pick it up. Okay, let's see what it turns out like. We just sprinkled some around it and set it in there. Let's see. I might have to add more purple. It is a royal purple. It's pretty. Then we have gold. Now, see, this might take longer because it takes longer for the metal to heat up. You have nice micro lab spoons on Amazon if you need tiny, need skinny. Oh, really? I have to look. I want some spoons. Some those. I know who said 
somebody's left me a message. Somebody sells them. Sis, is it? We are memory keepers or Sizzix? Oh, hi, Sateria. Oh, my goodness. Wait till you see it. <laughs> it is so pretty. I love the purple. No, I love the purple. Excuse me, I had to get a drink. Okay, wait a minute. Tonic sells the regular tonic. Okay. But then you can get micro. I'll have to look on Amazon. I need to place an Amazon order today anyway. I have a bunch of stuff I need. We are going to try Scrabble tiles too. I got some keys here. I thought I, we'd try chain. Maybe we can make chain different color. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how pretty. Oops, that is so stinking pretty. Oh, I love it. I want to put some gold on it in spots, just in some spots. and see what. Just where there's no purple. Let's see what it does. Oh, this is fun. See, I can use this on the top of a box. Anything I want, really. Change the color. And I love the glazes. The Tim Holtz glazes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm just using my fingers. Okay. So we got some gold on there. Ouch, and it's hot, you guys. So we put some gold on there. Let's see what it turns out like. It's still super hot because it gets hot all the way through. Yes, we're using the, the purple was the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Glazes. Carol, yeah, the Tim Holtz Distress Glazes, they are amazing because you can still see through them. Am I selling the crown? I <laughs> uh, hadn't planned on it, but you know. I love how the fleur de lis turned out with the rust scholars on it. Look at that. And then this multicolored. I was just using my fingers and sprinkling on different colors. Oh, you guys, it looks so pretty. I love this. It's just like the paper towel thing. You don't know what it's going to look like until you get it out. Oh, look at the gold on there. I'm afraid to bring it up. It's so hot. Look at the gold. It's so pretty. Oh, they are so, it is so pretty, you guys. I love it. That turned out gorgeous. I still see a couple places I want some gold. So you could probably, right there and right there, let's put it back in for a minute. Just three little spots I want to put some gold on because they don't have anything on them. Oh, love it. 
Love it, love it, love it. It's too key. See this ugly, dirty key? But it's got best on it. Where's the brush? I did wipe it off. But, or we can do this one. Ooh, look at this one. So pretty. Okay, it's done. We're going to let it cool. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'll bring it up in a few minutes once it's cooled down. But that's super sticking hot, and I don't want to burn myself. Yeah. What color should we do a key? Anybody, anybody? See, you can change the colors on them and then use them and decorate them. Or use them as dangles or charms or... Red, she says. Uh, let's see if I can find my red. Red, red, red. We have candied uh, candied apple. Want to try that, or you want to try a darker red? Because we still we have lumberjack plaid. I think lumberjack plaid would be better. Rust. <laughs> Hold on, we'll do a rust one in just a minute. I'll show you what the rust looks like. We're not going to put a ton of this on there because I don't want it really thick. I just want a glaze over it. Just to give it a hint of color. Put some on the back. See if it works. Just a hint of color we want on there. See, that's way too much. Woo! That thing gets hot too, you guys. And there's no on and off switch, so you have to unplug it. It's still warm. Oh, it's so stinking pretty. Look at that. Come on, focus. Look how pretty that is. Ah, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, cool, Arlene. That's cool. I know, it's so pretty. I don't know if I'm going to sell them or not. I have no idea. Wow, that was fast. Well, it didn't take much. Very long. But it looks awesome. So you can still see the, the stuff underneath. The fancy writing and stuff underneath. I gotta get rid of this. Hold on. Because it's causing issues. I just set that in there to get the fat part. And all this stuff just scrapes off. If you get it on the inside of this pancake maker, just wait till it cools down. And then it'll come up because it's Teflon. Yeah, as you can see, you can still see the writing on there. Almost looks like rust. I like it. I don't want to put rust on this key. That's how it looks like rusted, worn out. Hold on, we'll do rest on. What do you want me to do rest on? 
Uh, let's do rest. Hold on, let's do it on one of these. Hold on. We have all these Tim Holtz things. Do it on this. Thirteen seventy-eight. Okay, so we have chunky rust. It's self after big textures. Chunky rust. Yeah, I would plan on doing it to the watering can, but I want to make it like a galvanized still color, like um. Oh, where is that stuff? Yeah, Zeth Aptor has some really awesome um, embossing powders. Can't think. Okay, so let's put... I don't want rust all over it. And the rust, when you use this stuff, you have to take it out. Let's just see. Around the edges, maybe? You can't leave it in there very long. If you leave it in there very long, it turns pink. So you have to really keep a close eye on it. And Death Aptor's uh, embossing powders come in these little bags. Depending on who you buy them from. Like, I got mine off of... I um, can't even think of her name. Yeah, I don't want so much rust in the middle. Where the numbers are. Um, I don't remember where I got them, but they sent me the little containers to go with them. Okay, so there I put some rust around the edges and stuff. Let me show you. So, and you have to really keep an eye on it, because if you don't, I'll show you what it does. Because I put some on this butterfly. Come on. You see that pinky color in there? That is the rust. If you don't keep an eye on it, it turns pink. So you just want it enough to get on there. Just to melt it, make it stick. Oh, the t dauber is called uh, Ranger Embossed Dauber Clear. Um, let's see. That's what that is. And then you take it out. Oh, my goodness. And I think on the Fleur de Lis, I used a little bit of this ultra thick. I think what I did is I sprinkled a little bit of this on there just to give it some different Give it a little bit different look. Metally. This is called, well, you can't get this stuff anymore. They don't think they sell it. This is Art Melt. They came with those, you bought that little melting pot thing with that. Oh, uh, 
Oh my goodness. Hold on. I gotta see something. Look, they have vintage beeswax. So cool. Okay, I'm taking it out. I don't want it to turn pink. See it? Look at it. It looks like rust. Around the edges. Oh, I love it. See? And then you can use this on the front of a journal. Put your elastic, knot it in there on each end and have elastic. You could use it as a closure on a journal. Don't touch it because it's super hot. So leave it cool off first. Ooh, the beeswax on Scrabble tiles? Let's do one. We have Scrabble tiles here. Ceteria likes the beeswax on Scrabble tiles. Well, it's Zeth after vintage bees, big texture. That's what it is. Okay, so we want vintage. Ooh, you could do dominoes. You could do game. You could do all kinds of stuff. My goodness. And then buy you one of them little mini drills on eBay. I mean, on Amazon, like I got. You drill your own little holes through them, use them as charms. Can you see through this, Ceteria? Once it melts. She's like. I like the beeswax on Scrabble. That was so cool. It looks awesome. Thank you. Yes. You can see through it. Okay. Let's see. Haven't been able to find the beeswax one. Really? Vintage beeswax. But this one is cooled down now. I got the purple from the thing on there. It's so cool. Looks rusted. That's <laughs> awesome. I am dying of thirst. Hmm. You like it, Kateri? Trying to keep up with chat. Kim might come in here. I don't know if she'll get back in time or not. You can just scrape this stuff off, you guys. Off your tools and stuff. This comes right off. Come on, get me a new piece of paper. Oh, ooh, ooh. That is pretty. Hold on, it's not melted all the way. Yeah, I'm gonna get me a new piece here. Wipe this up. Yeah, you don't have the the emboss, embossing powder blowing all over everywhere. Oh, how pretty. I think I'm going to get a new pad in the bottom, too. I'm going to put some more on there. Uh-oh. Let's turn it over this way. It doesn't roll on itself. I'm going to make it thicker.
I'm glad you had me try this. I haven't tried it yet. This area, and I'm glad it's see-through. I am going to pull me out. I need to... Yeah, I just folded my parchment paper up and cut a bunch of four-inch circles. So, like I said, you can reuse them. Now it wants to fold the other way. Let's see, okay for Kim, yeah. Gayford Kateri. I know, I love the rust. It's so cool. Okay, and then we need to, what else was it we was going to do? Like the key. The key turned out really cool. I got some on the back. Um, ooh. Let it cool down a minute. I'm going to just throw this one out. It's kind of purpley. Put this one in there. So, let's hold this up, show you guys. Let's do the watering can next because I want to do the, the metal. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Ouch. Super hot. Yeah, if you look at the regular one, and look at that one. See the difference? It's pretty. Yeah, and then you just drill a hole in it. Use it as a... That is cool. It's the beeswax. So, we have this watering can... And I don't like the color. Uh, we could do, okay, I'll show you what I got here. Not amber, ancient amber. I know I want to use some rust on it. I don't know if I have like a galvanized color. I have a black and copper. It's a copper penny. A dirty sand. Dirty sand. <laughs> you know what we need to do? I need to try this on something. Because I have not used the white on anything. I've never tried it. It's, a, it's the art melt. White enamel. <gasps> Ooh, we can make white enamel. Let's do the bucket and make it white enamel. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, good idea. You know how they had them oldie white enamel buckets and stuff? And then they had the little blue lines or red lines on them. Oh, thank you for coming, Scrowls, Crowl. I can't, <laughs> it doesn't want to come off the tongue very easily. Anyway, we'll just call you Scrowl. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Come back and join us again. Have fun at your class. Add some patina. If Sateria says add some patina to the white enamel. Well, let's do the white enamel and see what it turns out like. I've got to show you the, the texture of this stuff. And see what it turns out like. And then we might add some color. Look at the crystals in that. It's, and they're so big. I don't. 
Okay, let's put her in there. The little things are so big. It's not super fine, I can tell you that much. It's art belt stuff. This is fun. You guys need to get you one. Let's see. We have Patina. Uh, we could use Tim Holtz color. We have this Patina Oxide. Um... Oh, thank you, Scrow. Where can we buy the rust embossing powder? It is just look up Zeth After Baked Texture Chunky Rust. Just Google it and it should come up. Who? Oh, Maddie has it? There you go. Go to Spectrum Art Creations. Oh, look at that. Look what it did. <sighs> look. I love it. Oh, my goodness. It looks like an old... How did that do that? Wait till you see it. It is so stinking cool. Just around bottom and some on the handle to make it look like it's been outside. Well, wait till you see this. I don't know how it did the little spots on it. I got to let it cool down a minute. Hold on. And it looks like an enamel pot. Ooh, I love the white. You guys, they don't sell this anymore. See if you can find a white embossing. That is so stinking pretty. Okay. I don't know how it did the on the edges. Look. Do you see that? That is so stinking cool. I don't need to add nothing to it. <laughs> Send Maddie a picture. She will find it. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. Should we do the, the, the rest of them in the white to have it as like a set? could use it in a garden journal has dangles ah oh, dangle them off the spine because we have the little garden implements let's see what the what the heck it's my stuff we're going to do white on this i want to see if it gets those little spots again because that was awesome I know, I love it. See if we can find white embossing. This is the the art melt enamel stuff. But I don't know if they you have to Google it and see see what comes up. Oh my goodness. Oops. Okay, let's see what that one looks like. Now you are convincing me to play farm journals where fire will look like great. Yeah, it's so cool. Ooh, chicken wire.
rest of the chicken wire. Come on. You guys, I am loving this. This is so stinking awesome. Okay, got it all over my hands. Oh! <laughs> it just never gets old. It's like, it's like the paper towel thing. It never gets old. Now, let's do this. While we have this in there, you see the chunky rust? I'm going to sprinkle a little, like around the bottom, and where they meet at the handles. Just going to sprinkle some here and there. And then we're going to close it up. Yes, it would on Edith Holden. You guys, I'm having, and our crown turned out beautiful. I want to do something in gold now. Look at that. Come on, let loose. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, this cools off. I'll bring it up. Just looks so stinking cool. Uh, it's too hot. Ooh, don't put your hair in it. Fries it. Oops, oops, hold on. I'll bring it up. This is so awesome. Does it look like rust? <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, and this is kind of bubbled up here. So it looks, let me show, see if I can show you. See how it bubbled up there? They're like little nods. Like, it's so cool. Uh, I love it. I want to do the backs. I think I can do the backs just with my gun. Yeah. Look at those. Those are so awesome. Should we go ahead and do the two over here? These two. Should we do them in the white to keep them all the, because it's like a set. Might as well make a set, yeah. Okay, okay, let's do that. Let's do these and then we'll do something else. Let's get these finished. So, you need some... Anybody find any enamel white embossing? Oh, they make white embossing powder. You just have to put several coats on it to make it look enamel. You know, thick, like it's enameled. Like this looks thick, but it's not. It's just one coat. You know what I mean, Vern? Keep your hair out of it. Okay, let's sprinkle them. Put them both in there together.
They need to make this stuff again. Who makes it? Ranger made it. Yeah, it's Ranger. They need to make it again. Because it is so stinking awesome. Oops. Just pick it up with your fingers. Come on. Okay, they're going in. We'll see if we need to add rust to them. We're done. Yeah, I've had this stuff for years. White handles and rust bottoms. I never did buy the melting pot. I just bought the enamel stuff. Yeah, I can't get any more of it, so it's, it's really sad. Really, really sad. Oh, my hands are got embossing powder stuff on them. Yeah, ultra thick. Do they make it in white? That would be a good one. Ranger. Ultra thick. Keep throwing stuff in my garbage. Knocking stuff off. Into my garbage. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys see this? I don't think we need any rust on them. Because it, somehow that stuff, it just amazes me <laughs> every time. Did I try this dirty sand? No. They don't have the ultra thick in white. That's awful. That's terrible. They need to be ultra thick in white. Since they don't make this stuff no more. Okay. So let them cool off a minute. What do you guys want to do next? Let's do... What, are, what was we going to do next? Dirty sand. She wants to try dirty sand. I would like it better without the rust effect on it. Look at these. Look. They look weathered. So cool. I love it. It's where it bubbled, and you can see the color of the stuff underneath. Can you see that? That is so cool. Yeah, you can see the color underneath, so it makes it look like rust. not going to because I can't hold it still long enough yeah I like it better without the rust stuff on it I know it's so awesome what if I could go over this eh, I'll just leave it so cool okay what we'll we try next 
we want to try, let's get this white off of here. Put cool off for a minute. Um, let's do, no, it wasn't on purpose. That was just what it did, which is super cool. Okay, let's get some of this white off of here before we stick anything else in there. Oh. Okay, so we did the tile. We did a key. We did a the Scrabble tile, we did a key, we did the crown. Yeah, you can clean your pan off. It's Teflon. Once it cools down, you unplug it and let it cool down. You can wipe it up. It, it'll come up. It won't stay on there because it's Teflon. But you don't want a bunch of, that's why I use the parchment paper. Because you really don't want a bunch of stuff on there. If you don't need to. Okay. So. What next? Ooh, ooh, let's do a leaf. Look how pretty the leaf is. Let's do it at Tim Holtz. Should we do it like a fall one? A green one? Um, what is that one? Oh. Time for wing? Huh? Oh, wings? Butterfly? They has that mount art. It does. There, go get some if they have it. Red, orange, green. Well, we have some wild honey. We have some fired brick. We have some Yellow squeezed lemonade and fire brick is the red. We don't want fire brick, we want lumberjack plaid. Um, and we need some green, really. Let's sprinkle a little bit of ooh, that's too bright. We don't want that bright green. Ooh, I love this green. So stinking pretty. Bundled sage. I love that color. Oh, we can do the wings in a minute. We have, um, we could use these as wings. This fancy thing. Or we can use, I got a set of wings out here. Like that we could do see we could just do this and stick it on the top of a journal page that would be so pretty okay so we just want to sprinkle some stuff and these are making the picture very dark if anything shiny gets on here, it makes it so dark. Let's put some green on and some spots. All right. We'll make a fall leaf. Let's put some lumberjack plaid.
And then we put some beautiful orange. See how it turns out. You don't like making them all in the same direction. It's like stripes. And then a little bit of yellow, because we've got to have yellow. Hopefully it turns out halfway decent. Not we just go over it with something else. All right, great. Right. So gross. Did you ever try to color the UT? No. Would you like for me to try that today? Okay, so there's our beautiful leaf. We could try coloring it. Um, with alcohol inks. That'll probably work. So Terry, would you like me to do it? eBay has that melt art. $23.99? Oh my goodness. Yes, I could try. Yes, I could try. <gasps> Look how pretty. Oh, it's not done. Hold on. You seen a section over there? Well, we'll try it here in a minute. I do have ultra thick, I think. I thought I did. Yes, I do. Okay. So. Oh. My goodness. Look. How beautiful. Focus, you silly camera. There we go. That's so pretty. I love the red on there. I think we need more red. I'm going to sprinkle some more red on there. Because I like the red. See, you can always do this and put it back in. Yeah, I like the red. Makes it look like a fall leaf. That's lumberjack plaid, you guys. Let me get the ultra thick here. Ultra thick embossing enamel. Don't have a lot of it left. Hmm. <sighs> It says it's adult. It's from that art melt too. It's from Ranger. Oh, love the red. Oh, it's so pretty. Looks like a leaf in the fall. It's so pretty. Love it. Okay. So, I'm going to unplug this while I'm mixing up this color. Let's try this. Uh, yeah. Let's try it on here. You guys, I go through baby wipes like crazy. Anybody else go through baby wipes like crazy? Besides me. Get that white off of there. 
Okay, let's let this dry for a second. Take some of this. What color you want me to make it? Where are all the oh Arlene? Uh I have no idea. Go to Spectrum Art Creations. Um she has tons of metal stuff. She sells she sells on Saturdays at four. She starts a, an online sale. It's, it's called Spectrum Art creations um i will put her link in the description when i get off here along with marion emerson the one that i learned this from um but maddie sells i've got a lot of this from maddie uh which is spectrum art creations and then some of it's just junk that i've bought in junk at auctions and flea markets and and this stuff here's tim holtz and maddie sells that too so just go to her uh she's got an online store she's got an etsy store they're all the same name spectrum art creations um i don't know if i have her um katira are you still here you could put a link in to her store or her YouTube or whatever. She's got Etsy, an online store, and she does sales on Saturdays at 6. No, 4. Saturdays at 4. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, Carol. Oh, really, Belinda? That's a good idea. Let me make you blue, Kateri. Uh, let me. That is moderator. You should be blue now. There you go. Thank you. There's the link, guys. Anyway, we're going to take some of this and color it. Okay, so we're going to get a color of alcohol ink out. Hold on, they're right over here. i got to get one out. Ouch. Green I'm just pulling one. I have no idea what I'm getting. What color is it? I don't want Santa. A brown? Give me a break. We would pull brown. Okay, we got green. Sorry. We got this bright green which is called limeade what a color drop of alcohol ink and oh look how pretty That turned out pretty. It's a light green. You can probably make it as dark as you want. Now, that's just one little drop of alcohol ink in that. And it made it this beautiful color. Now, what do we want to do? 
That's the ultra thick embossing powder. What do we want to put it on? Let's put it on this. This is pretty. You never know what it's going to turn out like. Let's just stick it down in there. Ooh. Okay, that's what it looks like before. I unplugged it, so I had to plug it back in. Yeah. I gotta have my husband make a on and off switch on the cord. Oh, thanks. You're welcome, Sateria. Dirty sand, EP on something. Yes, 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 yes. You want to see the dirty sand? Ooh. It is like that. I wait for it to heat up. Yes, we can try the dirty sand. What do you want to put it on? A uh, butterfly or just one of these things? Ooh, there's another set of wings. Let's just try it on one of these things. We'll put it on a big one. Oh, look how beautiful. Oh, I love that color. Look at that. And the silver still shines through. Let's use the rest on something else. I love that color. Ouch. Super hot, too. Ooh, let's put it on this. Because it might show thicker. Oh. So pretty. Focus camera. There we go. <gasps> Look at that. Ooh, that is a pretty color. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to do this number 19 in this ultra thick stuff. And what's left of it on my little pad here because it's a I'll put it in there and put some more on top. Now I have to turn it over. I don't even know if it's right side. Hold on. That's the right side, isn't it? Yeah, toothpicks, too. Like, this has holes in it. Let me see. Look, I don't even need to close it. It's melting. It's how hot it gets. Yes, I colored the clear ultra thick with alcohol, one drop of alcohol ink and mixed it. Oh, look how beautiful. I gotta get this off here. Hold on. Ah, oh, I love it. It's not going to focus. Come on. I'll bring it up when it cools off. And it filled up the holes. 
It's so cool. Stuck to my thing now. It filled up the holes. Let's get the knife. Uh, Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Look, oh, you can pull the stuff out of the holes. Hold on. You just push it out. Yeah, you want to, like if I was going to do this, I'd take two, two, two toothpicks and sit them up on toothpicks because it, then it won't fill these holes up. It'll just drip through where these holes are. I don't have any toothpicks right with me right now, but you know what I mean. So it won't fill the holes. It'll just drip through the holes. What the heck number is it? I think it's supposed to go that way. <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're going to do this again. I'm going to get two toothpicks. And I'm going to show you how it works. Because I got toothpicks over here. As soon as I find them. Ooh, toothpicks. You could do paper clips. Ooh, you could use paper clips as your little things to position it up. I do have some paper clips I wanted to try um, coloring. What time is it? Wow. It's already 3.30. So you just take two wooden toothpicks, throw them in there. So we're going to do this side now, the correct size. We're going to put this on there. Now, let's say we sit it on there on the toothpicks. And then we just take this. Chunks and all. We're going to cover this. Yeah, just get your alcohol ink out and color. You could probably even do it with paint or. Okay, so let's see what it does. I better not throw that out yet. You know me. Okay, we're going to use dirty sand next. It is limeade. It's called limeade. See it? It's from Ranger. So pretty. It turned out really pretty. I love that. I could cut this in half. Use it as corners on pages. Be cool. <gasps> see how it soaked through? Can you guys see that? I can't pick it up and show you. The stuff went through. So you won't have that issue of it building up in the holes. Yeah, see? <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Give you some look at this one. Oh, it's so pretty. This one, oh, I love this one. <clears throat> I think I got the majority of mine off of I get the majority of everything I buy off of Spectrum Art Creations. Look at this. Ouch, it's still warm. Ouch. And we still have some on the back. See it? How it went through. <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta get a cough drop. Pardon me. It went through the holes, so it didn't fill them up. Like it did the last time when I had it just laying flat there. So your toothpicks had it drained down. Oops, I'm just throwing them away. Toothpicks are cheap. So now you need toothpicks for your craft room. Or you could use paper clips, I suppose. Then you'd have colored paper clips, right? Or the embossing clip, where the embossing powder got on them. We're doing dirty sand now. Those turn out. Love, love, love that color. I'm just a color person. I just love color. For some reason. Any color. Okay, so we're going to take this stuff off of here so it doesn't go and get on our dirty rust, whatever we're making. Ooh, let's our dirty sand. <coughs> Let me get a cough drop, you guys. I'm gonna, I just want to cough my head off. Sorry. This is what happens in this. Do dirty sand on this. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. Okay, baked, dirty, sand, Seth after. See what it looks like. There you go. Hi, Kim. You're not coming on? I don't know if you can see through it. I'm half afraid to put it on here. Let's try a test piece. Let's do the back of one of these tiles. Because I really, I have a whole jar of these tiles. Let's do a tile first before I do that. Because I don't know if it's see-through. Know what I mean? I don't want to cover up all those words. You don't think it's transparent, print Belinda? Yeah, Sateria. Thanks, Cat. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do this one. Ooh, look, these are paper clips. Hold on. Get sidetracked. These are letter paper clips. Yeah, we fit on stuff like this. Oh, geez. You guys know how paper clips work. Like that. You have your letter. Oh, 
Ugh. Yeah, it's not see-through. Look at it. That's weird looking. See it? Scrape it off. Scrape it off. See if we can see our end. I'm not sure I like this dirty sand. It would depend on what you're using it on. I would think. Yeah, it does look like dirty sand, though. It really does. <laughs> it's weird. Huh. It's got like a white base. See it? It's got like a white base on it, and then chunks of other stuff. It's weird. I don't care for it. I really don't. But I need something. I don't want to get over my letters. I don't want it to. I don't think I'm going to use it on this. I think I'm going to wait. And i got to get it off of there. I need to wash it. Wash it. <laughs> now we know. Uh, yeah, it would be cool if you were doing a beach or an ocean scene, you know, and you wanted some, um, make it look like sand going up to the water or something. That would be cool. But other than that, think I'd use it on I just don't care for it. I don't other don't 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 know what else you'd use it for. Um hold on let me clean this up a little Okay, what was we doing? I wanted to do this. What color, guys? Do we want to make some angel wings? Gold? Please do the wings. These or these? These? Okay, one, two, or three. Kateri. One, two, or three. One. Okay. It's a pair of wings like that. So, what do we want to do them in? Um. Uh, we could do them in a gold. We can do them in um, this ultra thick platinum, which looks like that. We could do them in. Where's the other ultra thick? Oh, ultra thick bronze, which looks like that. White? I'm done in white. White enamel. That's cool. Ooh, white enamel. Cool. Ooh, and then we could take them once they're done and take the gold wax and just highlight it. That'd be pretty dairy. Cream. Cream. I don't have cream. I have dull. Okay, hold on. I don't have a crate. Hold on. I have 
matte. Uh, clear matte doll. That's all I have. And a clear gloss. Do the white enamel. Okay. And then, once they are dry and stuff, we could use the wax and highlight them in gold. That'd be super pretty. Okay, so we're going to do it in what? And hopefully it doesn't cover up all our beautiful texture. All right? Does it's gonna make me very mad. I think it might. This, especially this ultra thick stuff. What's everybody else doing today? Besides watching me. Anticipation. Oh, no. It's it's doing it again, Kateri. I don't think I like the white on these. Look, it's doing the, it covered up all the beautiful details. We need a clear. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, you, yeah, you're going to be making them for a while. A brad top? Yeah, I don't like it either. It just it just ruined them. I have another set. I need some more wings, Maddie. But they're over in the drawer. Let's let's try something else. Let's do since we have the wings out here. I don't want to throw them away. We're not gonna do white. Let's put some gold over the top of the white and put them back in. Okay. See what it does. Let's just pour it on there. Because I really don't care for the white. It ruined them. It ruined them. But that's okay. It's just toys. It's just fun. We make these mistakes so we can learn from them. Right? Right. Oh, look. It didn't even stay on. Hold on. Don't tap it off, Lisa. Just put it in here. And let it melt. Okay, we're putting gold on it. Let's see if we can save them. Hmm. 
Yeah, Kateri. <laughs> no, not to do that again. Can't be chipped off. I don't think so. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to save the, do the gold, let it mount into the white. But these turn out so stinking awesome. I love them. Look at this. So cool. And her crown. And her little green thing. Did all kinds of stuff. You need to just sit and play, play, play. What's this? Found this in a box of junk. What is that? It's a pen. 4,000 what? Or you could turn it over and say, oh. <laughs> Look. It made it bubble up. Four thousand likes. I don't think. I don't think that'll ever happen. <laughs> I don't know what it. It looks better as an O. O. Wear it upside down. O. <laughs> uh, it's for when you get four thousand subscribers. Oh yeah, like that'll ever happen. Let's look. Ouch! Don't touch them, you guys. They are kind of cool. With the gold over the white. I do like it. I'm going to save them and use them on something. I do like the gold on there. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. Ouch. 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 Don't touch them. Till they're completely cooled down. So what was he going to do? I don't know. I want to do this one before we leave. Because it's getting late. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting rid of this. You can buy cheap old parchment paper at Dollar General, you guys. What do we want to make them as? Make this as. Let's do. I want to do a glaze because I don't want to lose the. The. Sound good? Yes, dear. Okay. Um, just going to go get me a pizza. You don't want to use the details. Yes. Well, that's you, Kateri. That's not me. I mean, come on. I'm just a little peon here. What color do we want to make it? Um, we could do a beautiful blue. And it's going to be a glaze. It's not going to be any of the thicker stuff. Because I want to see through it. Let's do... Um, let's see what colors we got in here. <gasps> Look at this color. Picked raspberry. Yeah, I don't think I could do a bread. Yeah, you could try it later. What is Sateria Walk talking about? If you could put paper towel. Yeah, you could try it, Sateria. Let me know how it works out. I'm doing pink. 
You know why? Because I might use this in my one of my journals I'm making right now. Because I think it's beautiful. Love this color. Let's get a new thing out. Yeah, I'm going to let that cool down and clean it. Oh, big chunk. And we don't want to. We just want a light coating. Ooh, look how pretty. Ouch. Don't stick your hands anywhere near that pot, that thing when it's on. This is just too much fun. Oh my goodness, scare me to death. It's my alarm. It's four o'clock. Do you know where your cats are? I gotta clean all my tools up when I'm done too. Oh, look how beautiful. Oh, I love it. Look. I'll let it go off a minute. I love the glazes. They're just gorgeous. Ooh, you know what you could do? I see all these little holes here in these little things. You could dangle stuff from it. <gasps> Ooh, string. In a journal. Put it on the top of your page. Oh, look. It's cooled down. It cools down fast. This is just the aluminum. See the little holes in the ends? Wouldn't it be cool on a page? You got little holes there. That's so cool. Love the glazes. Yeah, you can open it. I'll get a Brad. We'll do it. We will do it. Open the Brad. Hold on. Uh, wait. They're over there. Hold on. I'm just going to get one of the uh, metal ones. If I can find them. Um. Oh, I didn't know where they are. I should do these, too. Where's the big ones? No, I have some. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, Sorry, in here. Yes, they are. Okay, so I got a couple brads. I'm gonna have to take a week off, you guys. Just clean. Had so much going on. Okay. All I got was these out. The big, let's lay it flat. Then we'll do two little ones. Oh, the phone done in black. Ooh, we could do that, Gadari. I'll be here for a few minutes. <sighs> So I'm going to lay them flat. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, our wings are done. Just 
when you get ready to use them, just scrape around the edges. It's kind of cool. I like them. I'll use them in something. So we're going to take our little brad here. What do we want to do them in, you guys? We want to do them in a metal or... Change the color. Rusty? Okay. Um, I need to come back on here because I just can't. There's not enough time. Time just flies by. Let's do the big one in the rest. Okay. Ugh, Lisa. And then we'll do those two. Ooh, let's do black and copper. Ooh, I love black and copper. Oh, and there's black and copper. And then we'll do ancient amber. No. We're going to do... Patina. Okay, just want you guys to know my husband went to get me dinner. Darn it. Made it come off. Eh, he just, I don't think it matters. I think you probably just scrape it off with a knife. I'm going to do a safety pin. And I remember how I come on and did it with these. Got a whole lot, ton of them over there. Oh, look, guys. It works. There's the rest. Is that not cool? That is so cool. <gasps> Lisa. See? You just can't take me anywhere. Look what I did. There's the patina. Isn't that beautiful? And there's the black and copper. Oops. Beautiful. Let's redo that. So it works. It works. It works. So you can do your metal. Perhaps. That's patina. This is black and copper. It's so pretty. And there's the rest. If I can get it out without tipping it over. Turned out so cool. Okay, let's do the phone real quick. Because my husband's on his way. Uh, black enamel. Wherever it may be. There it is. Black enamel for Kateri. On the big fat phone. Okay. 
I'm going to leave some of I'm not going to get it like, you know, completely in every little nook and cranny. We're just going to make it as good as we can. Here. Okay. Comes your phone, Kateri. Oh, geez, just come on. Woo. It's heavy too. I don't even know where I got it. I've had it for a while, a while, a while. I just didn't like the color of it. I don't like this color, this brass color. I just don't like it for some reason. I don't like this chintzy gold neither color. I hate that color. Look at our leaf. We did. That is so pretty. Yeah. You do it on anything. Hi, Jasper. I didn't see you come in. We're, we're getting off here in a minute. I'm sorry. You have to go back and watch. Guys, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up or a comment. That would greatly be appreciated. I sprayed all these in my spray box. And then I took gloss of clear and went over the top of them. These are just wooden pieces. Did last week. We did a ton of stuff on the last video. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I don't want this pink on my phone. Let's see. Oh, ah, this looks so cool. Look at it. Some of that brass is showing through, which I don't care for. Um, which I'm going to get it. I'm going to put some stuff here, here, and along the bottom. So I want it. Ooh. Hold on. I gotta pick it up without burning myself. Ouch. I don't want a bunch on the rotary thing. Because I want to still see the... I want some on this. On the bottom there. Get on there. It's not getting on there. Ouch. Super hot. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right. It's on there. Man, burn my fingers. 
get this out of the way, make it a little bit lighter. All right, we did some brads. I know. I'm surprised too. Look, you can use, you get these embossing pens and you can write your name on something and you can write words and emboss it in there. Ooh. Yeah, well, I got some. Look, <gasps> Terry. Okay, I gotta leave this up for a little few minutes longer because it's still on the inside there. I'm going to take that piece of white stuff out of there. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. That is so stinking cool. I do like how some of the press is coming through. Lisa, use the embossing pen on that flat butterfly and make your own design on the wings. This? Oh, yeah. But look, you guys, you know how we did these? Where's that green one? I'll show you what we did. Look. I have to drill the hole out a little bit bigger if I wanted to use this. Put the brad inside the middle of this. You can make your own brad to fit in there. See? Yeah, I have to drill the hole out a little bit further. So cool! Love the phone. I'm going to get off here. I know. It's so cool. So cool. I'm leaving everything sit here because I'm probably going to come back up tonight or tomorrow and work some more on it. Love, love the phone. See, I'm glad I did the bottom because it shows. Oh, it's still warm. It did the bottom part. Ouch. Still hot, guys. Oh, thanks, Kat. Thanks, Belinda. Yes, use your die cuts. That, you know, you could do cut out leaves. Use your die cuts. Yeah. S super hot. Okay, I'm going to unplug it, and I'm going to head out. Thank you. I will add those. I will add Maddie's um, link in the description, and Mary and Emerson. She's the one that I learned this from. Marion is. So, go get your stuff out and play with it, you guys. I got stuff everywhere. I need to clean. So I will see you on the next one. I think Kim's Kim's got it next week if she's here. You gonna be here next week, Kim, you know? And I will talk to you when I get done eating dinner, Kim. See how your day went. 
Okay, guys, I'm off of here. I will see you on the next one. Get your stuff out. Play with it. Experiment. Yes. Okay, kids, next week is Kim's Southpaw Studios. Southpaw Studio 21, right? It's all one thing. Um, well, thank you, Lynn. Don't forget to leave your thumbs up, you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're on Kim's next week, so you need to subscribe to her because we're working on a journal. Right? That little tin journal. Okay. Okay, so I will see you guys next week. I, f I don't come on before then, which I doubt. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you for coming. I do appreciate all of you. Thanks.